all right welcome back everybody uh we're gonna see how this goes right here i'm i'm still in this road work crap um we're, we're gonna see how this goes trying to get out of this oh they actually did a better job and that way if i drop my bike while oh, all right that that wasn't great but you know that was kind of kind of sketch so all right back on the road we go so anyways I'm hoping we actually make it to our destination in this video which we should without too much of an issue here um, again I am a new rider so you, you'll see I make mistakes uh, shifting's a lot of them shifting and clutch is, is you know a lot of the mistakes I make uh, my corners are definitely not the best at all by any means junction 157 yeah here we go so So, I figured it would just be a nice ride coming up here. See how the roads are. Um, and also, should I do something stupid? Well, I'll have it on camera and everyone can laugh and hopefully learn from my mistakes. Um, is, is what I'm hoping for. Um, I, you know, I'm kind of learning as I go. I haven't met anyone to ride. I, well, all right. I know a couple people who ride, um, but our schedules don't work. Um, for one of them, our schedules just don't line up because uh, he works on the weekends. I don't. Well, I, I don't work Saturday. I, I work Saturdays. I get out Saturday morning. Uh, I'm off Sundays and I'm off Mondays. But. I have to go to bed at like four o'clock in the afternoon uh so there is a lot of stuff that i miss out on just because of the time i have to go to bed so my schedule with him just just doesn't work at all um the other guy he's actually waiting for his bike to get fixed it's in the shop right now hoping he has it back soon uh he had to get tires to tune up inspection uh, and i think he was getting brakes done as well so hoping to be out riding with him within the next couple of weeks. Um, he's got an older bike. I, I don't know offhand what it is. So I'm hoping it'll work out. We can go riding together one of these days. And then the other guy I know, uh, he actually just went in for surgery. So I don't know how long he's going to be out for. And I'd really like to go riding with him. He's got a Bandit 1200. So, so that would be a, nice to go riding with him. But is what it is. Um, there, there are quite a few bikers uh, around where I live, but I don't know them. Uh, sometimes it works; you can just run into random people. But at the same time, I, I'm new. I don't want to ride with random people that I don't know. I, I don't think I'd be very comfortable. You know riding with people i don't know so i i, I don't want to i don't want to put myself in a position where you know other people are going to be a danger to me or i'm going to be a danger to other people i want to avoid that Well, uh, 
we'll see and this is where we're heading by the way the john boyd thatcher state park yeah it, i haven't been up here i can't even tell you the last time i was up here probably when i was in high school so like 20 20 something years ago uh yeah, this is that that's the wild play it's not where i'm looking i think it's a little further up here but hop field so yeah i think i missed it i think it was back there actually because now we're going down the hill and it looks like we're going into some fog. You know, it's always a, a great day to experience something new. Yeah, it's not there. Bundoon. Yep, here we go. Oh. Too bad, man. Make it all the way here and guess what? Can't see anything. can't see a gosh darn thing you know that would be my luck too get up here and you can't see anything Anyways, she ain't looking too bad, if I do say so myself. So, uh, I do have the first service coming up soon. Um, you know, again, this is the ABS model. This is a 22 SV650 ABS. I, again, so far I love it. It's, it's been a great bike. I have absolutely zero complaints with it. Um, you know, I got the first service coming up in a couple weeks here. So... So we'll see. Um, now I'm getting, you know, I'm getting better. I'm getting a little bit of lean, but not much. It, uh, I'm not trying to push anything, especially not my luck. So, but anyways, this is the view I came for that you can't see because it's foggy. And again, if you look around the edge of, the, of a cliff up here. So... So you can see down there, you can see see the edge of the cliff right there. So, yeah, she does look good. Like it, like it a lot. So I'm going to uh, take a break up here, hang out for a little bit. Drink some water. Uh, I always carry a backpack. And... You know, I tend to keep as much as I can in my, in my little bag. It's just a little drawstring bag. Uh, that way, I don't have anything in my pockets. I'm not a fan of stuff in my pockets while I'm riding. It just doesn't feel right. Especially my wallet. I just feel like it's not the most comfortable thing. Uh, and also, I'm going to find out how to get out of here without going back the way I came. But anyways, if you're a little, if you're interested in it, this is what it is: the Heldeberg Escarpment. Um, if you want to pause it and read it, uh, yeah. And what do we have? Altitude off the cliff ranges from 800 to 1300 feet above sea level. So there you go. But that's the view I should be able to see right now. Uh, so basically, we're like over here. But 
there you go. Uh, and there, this is a beautiful place to come if, if uh, you're ever around here. There's a lot of hiking trails and stuff through here. And uh, like I said, you can see the sun kind of poking through, but there is rain coming. So I'm going to take a break for a little bit and uh, get back on the road. So until the next one, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And, uh, you know, ride safe, keep it rubber side down. See ya.